feel like the president. <laughs> Going in the train. Well, I, I just, I just like, I gotta get in shape to, to get in shape. To Big Bear. So. This is just my, this is just my uh, going to Big Bear cardio. I know exactly what I'm doing. Been anticipating for a long time. I don't think about that. It's just another day at the office. It's just another opponent. I don't care about all that. That stuff getting your head, you know, clouds you. You know, I'm going to this fight thinking I've never seen this guy before in my life. I mean, I don't know. You know. I don't care what he's gonna do. I'm worried about what I'm gonna do. I'm just training my my hardest. You, uh, did you feel good to get that first, you know, victory in the octagon? Get that out of the way. You were talking about being nervous in that fight. Yeah, cause uh, it's kind of weird. But like I always thought about uh, whenever I go to the UFC, I knew it was gonna happen one day. I, I just felt like it was gonna happen one day, and I always felt like, oh, my first fight in the UFC, I might lose, and that's just that's always in a fighter's head, you know, losing. But no more. I, I, I'm not. That's over with. My first fight, over with. I, I overcame my, you know, saying mental weaknesses, and I, I, I won my first fight in the UFC. Originally, uh, you and Juanito were talking about maybe two or three fights. Get used to the octagon. Get used to UFC. And no, then no. It was, side. it was to get used, to get the fan used to me. Really, that's what it's for. I fought. In, I started fighting in cages before I fought in the ring. To me, I, I don't care where I fight. I fight in phone booth. They pay me enough. You know, it don't matter. And they don't cage ring. I fight. You know what I'm saying? I fight is a fight. But I wanted the fans to get to know me a little bit more before I, uh, you know, come out of nowhere fighting for the title. It just don't look right. When I see it, when I see guys have one fight in the UFC, then fight for the title, I'm like, uh, why he deserve? Or when they just their first fight, you haven't seen him in a long time, but then they fighting the champion for a belt. You know, like who is this guy? Why he deserve? You know, I just wanted the fans to uh, to know who I am, and you know, what I'm saying, really, I don't care if they cheer for me or not, but you know, what I'm saying. It'd be cool if they can identify with me, know who I am, and see a couple of my big slams and see what I'm all about. What do you think about Chuck right now? Do you see a different fighter? Is he the same guy that you fought a few years ago and beat a few years ago? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I, don't even, I don't even think about Chuck. I don't know what he is. Yeah, he's an opponent. That's what he is. That's all I know. He's got the title. He's more than just an opponent. Well, I know. He's, to me, he's a champion. To me, he's, he's a Another opponent. I don't care if he got the belt. I don't care. I don't care what he got. To me, in my mind, he's just another opponent. Another day at the office. That's my payday. Today, you know, I go to work. This is my job, and that's my payday. When you go up to Big Bear to get ready for these fights, uh, what's it like being with Juanito now, and, and the kind of camp you guys have? I mean, talk about what it's going to be like up there. Well, compared Juanito, to before. Oh man, compared to before, Juanito is the best thing that ever happened to my fighting career. The best thing he, he organized the camps and he because because he, he, he's not he's not just out for a paycheck you know what I'm saying you can tell you know he he's not just he he don't have arterial motives he's not just you know what I'm saying uh, he's not trying to promote his gym or you know what I'm saying his he, he he's not trying to promote his fighting style and no, he, he just genuinely cares for me and he's like a father figure and I really appreciate that and and, and the, the, the first training camp I did with him when I fought Matt Lennon it was like the the best training camp I ever had in my life. And I was in the best shape of my life, and I'm and I'm and I plan on uh, redoing that and probably being in better shape. Like I said again, this is the best shape I've been in my life again. That's what I plan on doing. You know, I'm I'm gonna give him 159.33 and a half quarters percent. You know what I'm saying? With the quarters. With the quarters, gotta have the quarters behind it, dog. Uh, what's your number one concern about Adelaide? I don't, you know, I don't want to kill him. I, I, you know, I, it's a sport. I don't want to. I just hope he survive. You know, don't, you know, don't you hurt people. I mean, Chuck's been tearing up the world. What makes you so tough confident? Because I'm, I'm, I'm a confident fighter. If you're not confident, you shouldn't even fight. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going into any fight looking to lose. Because I, I fought a lot of people in Japan I wasn't supposed to beat. It's about being confident. I'm training hard. Same things I'm doing now. Jock's not orthodox the way he strikes. He throws punches from odd angles. And how do you prepare for a guy like that? You just train hard. Do you want to simulate what he does or not worry so much about that? It's, just, it's a fight, you know. It's like a, you train as much as you can train. You, you set a game plan, but, you know what I'm saying? And, and even if, you know, a fight is unpredictable. So you just so you just know that it is and you just prepare for it. This would be a, a even better, even greater test. Because this, you know, this is going to be a, a stand-up war.